video how you doing I am back we actually got back uh, today today is Wednesday I'm not sure if this video will be uploaded on I'm not uploading it on Wednesday um, but it will be up to you this week most likely uh, Thursday uh, had a great time in the Poconos I um, like I told you guys in that video, me and Mr. Fuller have both been to the Poconos, but in past lives with other people. So this was our first time together, and it was really, really fun. Um, the name of that room was the Roman Tower Suite, and the champagne glass is a jacuzzi. I couldn't show none of those pictures, okay? That's private. But it, it's really, really nice, and it's fun. Um, just a quick getaway from home change the scenery um as you know mostly everything is still closed down so where else can you go okay but our batteries are definitely recharged i did find a dollar tree there was a dollar tree three miles from the hotel unfortunately i know you guys frustration now when people say oh my dollar tree never this store was clean it was organized but it was empty as hell okay empty as hell so um yeah life would be hard if that was my dollar tree but i did find a family dollar so this is a combo this is a family dollar plus dollar tree now prior to us leaving i had recorded the haul with um some of the summer fun items in the love den again i got erased from my phone so in that haul, I showed you this cup that I had uh, that I found at Family Dollar, but it was pink. And I told you guys I wanted to get Mr. Fuller one like it, but it was missing a light. This cup lights up. Look how cool that is. We would have had really, really fun. You know, you put your cocktail in there and you could change the way it flashes. So for next time. So I have a pink one and now he has one. Um, and it was only $2.50. From Family Dollar. And I purposely did not change my nails because I knew we would be in water a lot. Um, so I'm going to be doing my nails. And I have plenty of nails here. I'm not messing with the Sassy and Chic nails because they're, it shows that they're a dollar. But I found these Kiss nails. And I have other Kiss nails, but all of them have gems on them. Um, so these are just basic. And I'm just taking a break from the gems. I'm all like blinged out. I'm over it. Um, so, um, I think I'm going to put these on, but these nails, I'm telling you that super glue from Dollar Tree surely is the bomb.com because I was in water a lot and my nails, not one came off. Okay. And these are old. I've had these on for some time now, well over a week, probably 10 days. So got these from family dollar. I don't remember the price, but they're never more than $7 at Family Dollar, so I did pick those up. I also found some new lippies. I like this hot pink lipstick, um, and this is from, it's definitely LA Colors. It's actually a lip duo. It's a lipstick and a gloss, and I got Fire Engine Red. That's not the color they're calling it. They're calling it Eternal Flame, but I did pick that up. Again, lip gloss, lipstick, and I believe these I'm not sure. I think these said a dollar. If not, these were not more than two dollars. Okay. Um, at Family Dollar, I just thought these were cute. Um, <laughs> I got these. It's fake crystals, not real. But this is for um your signs. So hubby's a Libra. Okay. And I just thought it was cute, and it just says 
um, diplomatic and urban, romantic and charming, easygoing and sociable, idealistic and peaceable. And this is definitely my husband. Now, I'm a little bit upset what it said about me, but I think some of it is true. I got the cancer. Okay, birthday's coming up in July. Um, the crab. Emotional. Can be. Loving. Can be. Intuitive. Yes, I am. Imaginative. Yes, I am. Shrewd. I don't know about that. Cautious. Protective and sympathetic. Yes. I'm definitely an empath. I feel sorry for everybody. I do. And one more thing from Family Dollar. I got three of these mirrors. I love Family Dollar's home decor. I got three. Three of these mirrors, and I'm going to hang them up and uh, put a space. You could put them together, but I'm going to put a small space between them. Um, yeah, and these were $10 each, okay? So I picked up three of those, okay? Um, again, the Dollar Tree and uh, the Poconos, I only picked up, I mean, hardly nothing. I got two more of these bleaches, okay, because I like the size of them. Um, I just like it. So I picked up two more because at my store, um, I bought the last two when I did showed you in the last haul. So I picked up that, and that was all from the Poconos Dollar Tree. As soon as we got back to New York, um, on the way home, I asked Hubby to stop at the Dollar Tree in East Meadow because I haven't been there due to Rona and the quarantine. I haven't ventured that far. So I just wanted to pop in there and see what they had. I didn't get much, but I did find some things. I have never seen this Barkeeper's Friend cleaner. I have bought this cleaner to clean the glass cooktop from Walmart and it was almost four dollars I think when I bought it but I think it also was a bigger bottle this cleans um, it's a bathroom cleaner kitchen cookware outdoor um, works great on stainless steel sinks it says it cleans a lot of things stainless steel porcelain ceramic copper brass fiberglass corian chrome aluminum this is 8.82 ounces. I probably should have got two, but I just got one. Um, by the register, and I really should have looked at the dosage, and I really don't... I have bought gummy vitamins before, and I have bought gummy vitamins from Family Dollar. I don't know if they work. I don't know. Who's to say they're made by? Restores? I don't know if Restores is a name brand, but this is vitamin D3, and I know I have vitamin D3 here, but that is definitely good for your immune system, and it's good for respiratory health, but this is so little. Um, this is only 75 micrograms. I, I don't think that's much of a nutritional benefit, but I just seen it by the register checking out, and I just seen vitamin D3 and grabbed it, okay? Um... I'll do cosmetics, which it wasn't much. I just picked up another one of these setting sprays. This setting spray is the bomb.com. You don't get a lot for a dollar, but I'll tell you, um, some setting sprays, especially a nice size bottle, can cost $5 and up. So for a dollar, even if you bought five of them, um, this lasts me maybe a week or a little over a week. And let me tell you something, it holds your face together. I mean, I did my makeup this morning at 8 o'clock, and it's almost 6 o'clock, and you don't have to touch it up. This stuff is good. Again, it's small, and I think I'm going to put this in the uh, July cosmetic giveaway. Um, that's going to be a good one. Medallia, you commented it, and I told you I still haven't heard from you. And time, time is of the essence. Email me, okay? Um... So yeah, this is always a repurchase until it's perfect for travel. I, I like it. It'll, it'll always be a repurchase for me, okay? But you know, I got to figure out if it's really a good value because that matters to me also, okay? Um, just trying to go in order. Listen, I'm in love. I'm in love with this oil, guys. Every time I go to Dollar Tree and I see it, I'm going to get it because this is a good oil for your hair. Um... It's a good oil for, it says versatile use. I add it to that body yogurt um, because you can't just put it on your skin by itself. It needs something to help it absorb. This mixes well with the Bolero 
um, body oil. And if you had a lotion that you just wish provided longer moisture, I would add this to it. I love it. It says it's sunflower oil. I, I really don't know. And it's a name brand. It's L'Oreal. So uh, Mr. Fuller wants one. So I'm a very giving person. But when it's something that I really, really like, I can be a hoarder. Okay. Thus is why I have a Dollar Tree warehouse. I had to um, buy more storage containers to organize things. I really think I'm going to have a Dollar Tree garage sale because some things I just buy. I, I have a problem. But I did pick up two of those oils, and I will use that. That won't go to waste. Um, and you know how Dollar Tree is. You like something, and then they don't have it no more. So I get a little crazy when it comes to that. You know, I don't want to run out of it. Um, but that's it for the cosmetics. I didn't see anything new in the PA store or in the Dollar Tree in East Meadows. So, um, but what I did see is this soft soap antibacterial hand soap with a moisturizer. I only got one. I probably should have got two um, because I do have a lot of hand soap. That's something that I won't run out of in the near future is hand soap. And I think these make great gifts. Maybe not this one so much, but sometimes they have these really nice, pretty hand soaps. Um, that makes a nice gift. You can't go wrong giving somebody, you know, a body wash or a hand soap. Not saying that you think they're dirty or they smell, but it's something that people use all the time. So um, I probably really should have got two, especially since there's two bathrooms. But um, it says unique formula, uh, crisp and clean, gently cleans and protects. Yeah. And name brand. Can't go wrong. And I did pick up more Lysol. You can't go wrong with this. I did, um, if you watch the video, the Poconos pool party video, I did bring cleaning stuff. I didn't want you guys to think that she's just bringing toys. She's not worried about the coronavirus. The room was, I can say I was very pleased with the cleanliness of the room, but I still did spray down the sink knobs and handles and stuff like that. Um, you know, and I guess to be honest with you, unfortunately, if you're traveling, that's how you have to think and prepare. I mean, it's just so odd, you know, um, that's why I love those. Um, do I have one close by? Yes, it's here. That's why this is perfect for me, especially if I'm going to be Dollar Tree hopping because it stays around your neck. And when you're getting ready to go to the store, you can just pull it up. Um, I don't know. I guess I thought I was free. And the air, the fresh air in Pennsylvania was just lovely uh, in the Poconos. Um, so you, you want to breathe in the fresh air, especially tomorrow and for the next three days. I'm back to that mask for 12 hours straight, and it's brutal, okay? So um, to have this, you could just pull up. And you, you, I, you don't know how many times I had to go back to the car because the mask. Like, I was just like in fantasy land, okay? Really had a lovely time. But I picked up the Lysol, and I didn't see anything else, but I did see this. And um, a lot of people like LA's Totally Awesome Cleaning Products. I have used them. Um, I don't know. I, I, I used it to clean the basement floors because it's all tiled down here in the Love Den, except where we have area rugs. But still, when you clean, you have to clean. I, I don't know. I have to use it some more. But I did see this, and I've never seen this before. It's new, it says. Well, it says new concentrated formula. It's a drain um, opener, and uh, we had the plumbing issue a few weeks back, and like I said, I've been here eight years, never had an issue. I'm not the homeowner, so it's not my problem, but um, I guess it would be good to use this ever so often. It says it removes, works fast to cut through grease and hair. Um, yeah, so since they have a nice reputation of cleaning products, I know I went to Lowe's and I bought a drain opener and I spent almost 20 bucks. Okay, so I bought two of these. Okay, um, and I hope that, you know, I don't have to use it, but the plumber guy suggested that like every other month, just pour some drain opener down. Um, so I just picked it up because might not see it again. Um... Bought Cheez-Its. Okay, this is for hubby. This is white cheddar. Normally, they have a bigger box. At this location, they didn't. And also, uh, a few hauls back, I showed you, like, they had a mini bag of, like, the four packs. And this is something that I learned. I was giving them to my son, and my husband seen them. And he's like, oh, I love Cheez-Its. So, I, I've never seen him buy it. I've never seen him eat it. But now I know he likes Cheez-Its. So, whenever I see them, I'll pick them up. 
Something else that I've seen that I've never seen before, and again, somebody just moved this. This wasn't where it was supposed to be because I would have probably bought another one because rich crackers are expensive. And for the trip, I had bought, because um, I bought food because I really thought we weren't leaving the room at all. I mean, you've seen that room if you watch the video. It's really no reason for you to leave that room except for food. And um, you can eat their food there um, or you can bring your own except there's no microwave. As beautiful as that room was, how do you not have a microwave? You have a swimming pool, you have a sauna, a massage table, a refrigerator, which was awesome, um, but you don't have a microwave. So something told me to bring my electric skillet. I can't eat cold food. Mama liked to eat. I'm not a, a little girl, you know, or a small woman. Okay, I'm not a girl at all. I'm a woman. You know what I mean. I like to eat. But I can't, certain things don't do well cold, like scrambled eggs. And I think they use the powdered eggs or the liquid eggs cold. I don't think so. I like my food almost burning hot. And um, something told me to bring my electric skillet. I have like a 12 by 12 electric skillet. I, I didn't. Um, next time, to be honest with you, if we stay, if we stay longer, I might bring a microwave. The loved in microwave is small. Because I like to warm up my, I like hot food. But anyway, I bought cold cuts. I bought rolls. I bought um, rotisserie chicken salad. I love the Archer Farms rotisserie chicken salad at Target. It's delicious. And I bought potato salad. Because I didn't know what the eat food situation, especially when you're going to another state with this quarantine, you got to be prepared. So um, this would have been great, my husband said. Oh, did you bring crackers? And I forgot crackers. So, um... Rich crackers, okay? And I found some more Lunchables, okay? And these have an expiration date of July, where some of the Lunchables that I hauled expired in May and in June. So this goes to July, and I haven't seen many ham and turkey. It's always um, ham and cheddar. I've always, I've been finding the turkey and cheddar. So this is just a variety, and this is for Mr. Fuller. He takes them to work and uh, eats them for lunch. So I only got three because there's still one or two left in the fridge. And that's it, guys. That's my Dollar Tree haul. I mean, I'm back in New York now. Um, I'm back to work next three days, 12-hour shifts. And the way Dollar Tree's hours are in New York, 10 to 6, sometimes I might not be able to go on my lunch break. Um, you know, um, but the goal is to check out what the New York Dollar Trees that I frequent have new. But other than that, this is it. And thanks for the love and the support. Thanks for watching my videos. And I will be talking to you guys soon. If you're interested in going to the Pocono Palace, they have three locations. The next time, I'm trying to push him to go for Father's Day or sometime next month. Because uh, we got a really good deal on Groupon. Go on Groupon. Do not book directly with Cove Haven is the name of the resort. Um, it's three locations, but the website is Cove Haven. But if you put in Pocono Palace, it'll come up. Um, it's like $200 more than I paid on, uh, that we paid on Groupon, okay? And Living Social also has deals. And there's different rooms. You don't have to get the room we got. There's cheaper rooms. Um, but we went for the pool, and we wanted the biggest pool because we love water. We do. And unfortunately, with the way things look, this summer, with everything closed down, we don't know if we'll be able to go to the pool, you know, and that's important to us. Um, so uh, if we have to go back there, hey, why not? And with no traffic, it was beautiful. We got there in two hours flat. I mean, normally the Poconos isn't that far, but it could be a three-hour drive if there's traffic, and we had no traffic. Two hours, boom. And the ride went fast. Before you knew it, you were there. So, um... It was really, really nice. So again, go on Living Social or go on Groupon. Do not book directly with the hotel. And being that the resort is closed, you can't use any of the amenities um, or do any of the activities. They're not charging you that, is it $25 a day? Yeah, $25 a day resort fee, which can add up if you stay three days or it might be more than $25. I'm not sure. So they're not charging the, you that fee right now. So I'm trying to get him to commit to a date next month, but we're not going to go to that one. We're going to go to um, Paradise Stream because that's closer to a lot of restaurants. And I have a feeling that PA 
is going to open up sooner than New York. But if not, you still have takeout. You know what I mean? But thanks again for watching, guys. I really love your support. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Be safe. And uh, yeah, thanks for being a part of my cyber family. Goodbye. Wait, don't go. I started running my mouth and I forgot to show you guys this. Now, normally, <coughs> excuse me, I would not buy something this small. Well, I can't say that. This is a name brand, but normally I like to look for the value or whatever. I'm sure Dollar Tree's had uh, this size Ocean Spray drinks before, but I just seen these. This is Cran Pineapple, and this is a great drink mixer to me, okay? I like my cocktails. When I was mixing Hennessy, which I don't usually drink dark liquor, and we're social drinkers. Trust me, we had that Hennessy forever, and we just now opened that bottle. We've had it before New Year's, I think, in December sometime. I don't. We had it for a while, and we never, or maybe we got it for our anniversary. I really can't remember, but we didn't even drink on our anniversary. But this is the Cran Pineapple, and how big is this? This is the 25 fluid ounces. I'm going to hide this because Mr. Fuller will drink this. And I want to use this like as a drink mixer with some um, Absolute, some vodka. Be pretty damn good. And this is the Cran Tropical. Um, this is with cranberry, mango, guava, and orange flavor. That sounds delicious. This would be great with some Absolute. Are you kidding me? Get the party started. Woo! I, I, I drink the most. <laughs> I drank the most while we were away. Uh, somebody had to be sober, right? But uh, we had a good time. So, yeah, I forgot to show you guys this, okay? Again, thanks for watching. Started running my mouth. I'm sorry. Bye-bye.